I know besides all of you wanting to uh, have an update on the project, uh, the second question that's on most of your minds is, when's Cindy going to move? Uh, I think that's going to be just in, in a few weeks, right, Greg? Hopefully. It's, okay. We're, that's the, the, uh, the, the, it's, it's in process right now. So at this time, uh, we'd like to uh, take any questions that you might have, or obviously would be, we'll be available for uh, private interviews as well. Are there any, any questions from anyone? Kevin, that's a very good question, and we have our staff here. I'm going to ask Tim Hafner, our corporation attorney, to answer that. Happy to. Good afternoon. Um, Kevin, the expansion of the project led to, obviously, increased costs. The garage is approximately 40 percent larger than the original garage. Originally slated at 750 spaces, the new design is nearly 1,200. Uh, in conversations with our partner, the CIB, uh, it was suggested and we concluded it made sense to expand the garage to accommodate future downtown expansion to create some relief from surface parking lots that may ultimately lead to further development and candidly to, en to enhance the prospect of continued expansion of the project uh, which Tim announced from 60,000 square feet to 95,000 square feet. So the, the project as a whole grew uh, as a result of the increased uh, demolition of the and excavation of the site led to the opportunity to create a basement to the garage which again supported the larger number of spaces. So. It's essentially a 40% larger garage and in order to accommodate future expansion needs downtown. This question for whomever wants to answer it, but it's a pretty creative process that you've already done the brainstorming, you put the blueprint down, and then you go back to the table, the design table, and say, okay, we want some more things than this. Who, who wants to talk on that and that process? <laughs> okay, this is not set in stone. We can make it bigger, we can make it better. I think you actually answered your own question. Uh, as we began to put this together, we realized that it could be bigger and it could be better. And if we were going to do something bold, uh, let's do something bold. Let's do something right. You don't do something halfway. Uh, the city of Fort Wayne deserves the very best that we can do. And these two gentlemen uh, committed themselves to that. And we, again, we would not be denied what we could possibly do. Fort Wayne deserves that. So that's exactly what we did. We have had a series of meetings with council members. Several of them are here today. Uh, if I can go as far as to say, uh, there has not been any negative reaction from council because I think they too have the vision uh, to see it's, uh, it's going to be really a game changer for downtown. And uh, to be able to not only have Tim bring in jobs uh, to downtown, this current staff, but to position himself for jobs in the future, I think speaks volumes about him and about our community. Can you talk about how to redo this or adding a forward as an action on the parking garage for this board? Can you elaborate on what kind of more interest there was where it came from? As far as the expansion of the of, of ash? The, yeah, the prompt of the expansion. Why did Ash decide to grow? <laughs> well, as you've heard, there's been a lot of positive publicity around the project, and we've received, uh, so it's twofold, uh, many inquiries from, from others that have asked about the availability for space in the new building. Another important item for, for us was our future. As we look out five years, 10 years, and so on, to have additional square footage within the same footprint made an awful lot of sense for us to, to be able to answer that what if. And that, that was a, a very big part of it. So it, it really has to do with energy, positivity, forward thinking. Those would be the three things as to why. And as the mayor had said, and you heard from Bill as well, our community is just outpouring with support for this type of thing. And we believe that momentum and investment uh, is required. And that's, that's the primary, those are the primary drivers for the uh, addition to the uh, more space. You talk about forward thinking. Are, they, are the buildings now designed so that they can be expanded at some point if necessary? Uh, I'd need to pull up Larry Wygan for that. <laughs> uh, I know he's out in the crowd there, but. 
No, I don't believe that they're, they're uh, supported. So hopefully someday in the future we can have another one of these press conferences and say we're going to be expanding elsewhere. <laughs> Twenty years, and even though we can't grow vertically, doesn't mean we can't grow horizontally. And I think that's exactly what Tim was talking about. In, in both Tims, uh, we need to take a look at uh, an availability of additional properties in the area too, because uh, the way uh, this, this, uh, the acceptance that this project is having, uh, I can't believe that uh, there won't be more interest in uh, continuing to build our downtown area. No. There will be no property taxes used in this project. So this would be an extension or the beverage tax would be part Correct. of the capital improvement board? Correct. Uh, we're going to be asking the city council to consider some legacy money. Uh, obviously, the CIB uh, will be asked to, to, uh, to help in this project, uh, as well as TIF money and, and other resources that we have. But there will be no property taxes in this project at all. Well, again, we want to thank you all for coming. As I mentioned, uh, uh, we'll all be available for private interviews as well as those individuals behind us. Thank you so much. And thanks again.